Okay, so I think I can make this quick for both of our sakes. Uh, I mean, so this is like story seven, the seventh installment in the origin story that I'm telling you. And I'm gonna warn you right now, it's gonna get weird. Just please be warned. Uh, if you are made uncomfortable by weirdness, then, well, you probably wouldn't be here all, all, uh, for any of these. So, you know, thanks for listening and watching. In the 90s, I was in two bands, basically. Uh, Ape Cafe, which was like a post-punk, funk, rock, metal, I don't know what to describe, a very weird mix of things. We wore costumes and uh, jumped around on stage, whatever. I was the lead singer and keyboardist for that. And then I was in my band and I was performing under the name Nick at the time, all caps, very cryptic name there. And uh, we both had similar personnel, you know, it was a bit crossover there. That's kind of how it works with a lot of bands. In fact, it's working uh, right now that way for me and the three bands I'm in are sharing a lot of people. And for Ape Cafe, we played a ton of local gigs got uh, uh, quite a bit of local recognition. We packed every place we played. And for my stuff, uh, it, was, it was similar, but I was focusing more on recording and uh, kind of getting you know, a product out there, EPs and things like that. And that's what happened in, uh, what happened in this current reality, I will call it, is that uh, we lost our fourth or fifth drummer in Ape Cafe, which means I lost my drummer because we shared drummers. And so uh, Ape Cafe disbanded, and I went on after uh, a recording I did in 96 called Your EP, which I recently re-released under the uh, name 9695. It's the first half of that. Uh, I went to doing acoustic performances in coffee houses and things like that for the next couple of years until I started to form a new band. Uh, and my music at the time was kind of like proto-rec music, um, would be the best way to describe it. And that's what happened, you know. Uh, that was the 90s, basically, for me, for music in this current reality. And as I mentioned in story six, uh, you know, there's been this creeping feeling that I'm not living the right life. Now, that may be taken as an existential statement, and in a way it is, because... There have been twists and turns in life that, of course, kind of knock you off course. And, uh, you know, you look back and say, oh, if I had only stuck with this thing, I might have been here, whatever. And you mean you can't live in the past. So you just examine it and say, well, maybe this time around I'm going to do something, uh, you know, differently. So there is an existential part to that. But, um, and this is where it gets weird, it's also real. What do I mean by that? I told you last time I would, I would tell you where I think all of this is coming from. So in the alternate reality that is starting to be made real in my brain, Ape Cafe not only got a lot of local recognition, but we ended up uh, doing a, a mini tour, certain parts of the country, uh, selling a ton of tickets and t-shirts and the recordings that we did and everything like that. And yes, uh, we still disbanded, but not before we made an impact on the local scene in South Jersey and Philly and on really music in general for bands that were working towards that kind of unusual mix of music. And for, for me, for Nick, uh, it would be the third time that a record company would pay attention uh, to me. And it was, again, for the uh, EP, your EP, that I mentioned. And the opening track, I believe, on that was a song called Your Sweetness. And I'll put the link below so you can hear it. And it did amazingly well live, and people loved it and, and all that stuff, and I've played it even recently online and things like that. So it's had a life since then in this reality, but in the new reality that is forming, uh, it was a uh, top 200 hit in the country, and uh, that's because a local label picked up that EP and released it. And... It was not enough to, of course, make me or anything. I was doing a household name, but it was enough to give me legs, essentially, 
And so some of the personnel from Ape Cafe moved over to what I was doing, and when they disbanded, we toured. And again, made what I would call an impact. And uh, I'm not gonna go any further in the story and tell you what happened next until next time, but I do want to circle back to the idea of me saying that this is real. And that is that uh, I believe I've been getting signals from an alternate version of this universe telling me that the idea of me not living the right life is not so much about this existential thing, but that I am basically in the wrong universe. Uh, please comment below.